guys welcome to another video so today's video will be something a little different we are going to get ready but we are not going a place no we're not so you know we can't go out not right now anyways so we're going to do our makeup so when the time comes for us to go out we already got our looks together so if you want to see how to get this look, make sure you keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. So, the first thing I want to use is my black opal concealer stick and tan. To, this is one of the primers I'm going to use to base my lid. And I've tried this from watching, I think her name is Sonny, Sonny, on YouTube, Sonny, I think I just, I just know her name, but it's not, it's the beautiful, it's the young lady that stay in Japan. She always used this and her eyeshadows always stick. So, I ordered it so I can try it. It's thick, it's creamy. It's not like watery and moving over the place. So I also wanna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills in white. So for eyeshadow today, I'm gonna to use the Cara Beauty Dreamscape palette and I picked this up about a month ago I just swatched it I've never used it or anything so I only wanted to use two shades because the first of all I don't really know how to do eyeshadow so I wanted to keep it simple so I'm going to use the shade Voyager and it's this deep purple shade on the end oh I did use three and it's centric it's this shimmery paint shade right here and dazzling lights it's this very very light pink iridescent shade so one two and three dark purple shade of course is going in the crease and i just have a wet and wild brush Blender brush. I'm in love with Beauty Supply Store uh, eyeshadow. So this is going in my outer V and my crease. So now that I've packed it on, I'm just going to use a brush from Amazon, a blending brush, to blend out the edges. I tell y'all, doing eyeshadow is not easy, especially if you want to play with colors. Now, if you're just doing a brown, simple, one color eyeshadow, then you're good. But this blending mm. okay so now that that's somewhat blended I'm going to take my NYX glitter glue and put that in the inner part of my eye so I need something for this glittery shade to stick to no cut crease just sloppily, putting it on there. So, I had a fluffy brush. With the Perfusion brush, I'm gonna take those two shades, 
Dazzling Nights and Eccentric and mix those two together and put it in that area. So this is a light pink and a dark pink for both of them with glitter. And pack it on. No swipe. Now I'm just taking my blending brush to blend out the edges. No more product on it. Just to make sure no harsh lines. My shade right there. So yeah. That's it. Okay, for primer, Jelly Pop, you know, and the Rimmel Stay Matte. I'm going to take my MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Powder to set the oily areas of my face. Okay, so for my foundation today, I'm trying something new. I'm trying the Hourglass, 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 Hourglass Vanish Foundation. Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation, and I have it in the shade Almond. This has been out for years, but I picked it up from Sephora when Sephora had a sale. I think regular price for this foundation is maybe like 60 something dollars. So we are going to try this foundation. This is my first time ever trying it. It's kind of thick. I don't even know if it's matte, if it's what, if it's what. I don't even know. Shape well, didn't shape. Okay, brush, yeah. Small amount is needed to the most finish most seamless finish I didn't shake it okay well yeah this is how it looks if you can see it on my messy palette they say only a little bit they say only a little bit is needed I'm gonna take my finger it's not liquidy it's kind of thick no smell So that was two pumps. Take my Shop Mise brush. I don't even know if it's full coverage, if it's matte. Seem like I would have looked this stuff up before I bought it, right? It's lightweight. It doesn't feel like anything is on my skin. I could tell you one thing. By this camera, I'm looking really, really light. Shimmers down, shimmers down. Look at it. Oh no. They said this was my shade. I 
I had this sitting in the box for a month. I don't even know if I can. It's okay. The shade is okay. It's really yellow though. Which is good. I mean, I like yellow. I like, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Cameo Camo Concealer in Deep Chestnut to highlight. And we most definitely got a contour. Oh, the, the foundation. Oh. It settled. It got to be my color. Did it change? Let's blend this concealer out because it's been sitting for a minute. I found my Real Techniques setting brush. So I'm going to use that. Let's get my contour brush. Yeah, I know I love my Too Faced Peach Perfect in Caramel. Caramelized Peach. It's the right shade of bright. To set the contour, we're gonna use the Black Radiance True Complexion in medium to dark and the dark shade, of course, to set this contour. And I'm gonna use my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in Deep 60. And of course, y'all know I'm not a huge fan of blush. I just like to bronze. So I'm going to use the I Heart Revolution Coffee Bronzer in Mocha. And I have been using this lately. Okay, I'm going to use my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray to set my face. This does smell so good. Okay, while that is setting, I'm going to use my Shayla ColourPop BFF4, I think it is. Yeah, lip liner. And I'm gonna use this lipstick or lipstick from the lip bar in Man Eater. And it's kind of like this mauve color. You can barely see it. So it's kind of like a pink, but not really.
You see? My eyes were already doing a lot. I didn't want to lift it do a lot too. Okay guys, this is the final look. Trying some new products and doing makeup to go nowhere. Nowhere at all. But it's fun. It's fun doing makeup. It's fun trying new looks. So when we can go back out, their looks are already lined up. You know, Tuesday I'm going to do this. Wednesday I'm going to do this. You're good. So, if you enjoyed this quick get ready with me to stay in the house, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.